Hey guys, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to be doing a canvas, so we're going to use the sink strainer uh, again. I uh, appreciate all your comments on the previous one that I did, and I, I've uh, messed around with it and messed around with it, and think I have uh, finally came a little closer to getting the results that I was actually wanting. So, I got everything set up, let's get started. I have this little, uh, looks like a 10 by 10 um, canvas that I'm actually re, re uh, let's see, refurbishing, upcycling, whatever you wanna call it. I've got this little turntable. It's just a little plastic thing. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It's not great. I mean, you, you can start your canvas spinning and, and that's it, it doesn't, continue, it doesn't keep going. I've seen some where they just, you know, they'll spin and they'll just keep going and going. Uh, this one does not do that <clears throat> for whatever reason. But anyway, it's a good one to practice with, so let's just go with that. I've got my little sink strainer here. I'm gonna place it right here in the center. I'm gonna be using this real blue, and I've got a turquoise, and I'm just gonna be adding some white with that. I have added Liquitex professional pouring medium. Now with Liquitex, it does not take as much as if you use your Floetrol and, and you know, perhaps some of the other mediums. The Liquitex uh, works really, really well, uh, but you, you wanna keep it more to a one-to-one -one ratio with your paint. One of the things, um, and I'm gonna talk while I, I'm gonna layer this, my dirty, my pour here, but one of the things that I had several, uh, several folks um, question on the other um, strainer pour that I did was, you know, make the paint thinner, make the paint this, do this, do this. Well, this is a, <laughs> well, and as I've said before, if you're pouring paint, you're not gonna have any two things come out exactly, exactly the same. Still think I have my white a little too, um, thin. But one thing I did notice, I was just practicing messing around with it. If you get it too thin, it won't hold your design. It may, it's going to spread faster, but it's also going to run right off your, your canvas. So that's just a note to that, you know, I feel like you don't want it. You've got to have it just the right consistency because if you go too, too thin, you're, it's going to just distort your, your, the pattern that you're going for. So you don't want to get it too runny. Now, again, uh, and, and I know there's a lot of you that commented on the, uh, the other uh, strainer pour that I did was, you know, so anyway, I, basically, I guess I just experimented with some of the questions and comments that you guys had. But like I said, what I, what I noticed is I, I did one yesterday and it came out really, really well. I did not video it. I did another one and it, I had thinned, it was just too thin. It just, it just ran, it just ran away from the pattern and off of the canvas. So I'm just layering these three colors And I'm gonna hope that I have the perfect consistency with this pour. Again, uh, what I what I did on this to hold my uh, my canvas to the little swivel board here, uh, I just had some clay. Actually, it was some old polymer clay. And I just got a couple of pieces and secured it uh, to secure it onto the swivel. Otherwise, you'd hit if you were to take your canvas, it just goes shooting off. So you don't want to have that happen either. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start pouring here, and I don't wanna just continue, I'm gonna give it a little time to, to start, you know, spreading out. It seems like using the turntable, it helps push that paint out without distorting your pattern that you're hoping to get. And it's really hard to keep it continuously going because like I said, this won't keep spinning, so. I, I, something's not level here, I can tell. And I guess it's probably my canvas or my table. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna see if I can raise this edge up a little bit right here simply because I'm not ready for all of this. Once it starts running off your edges, it takes the pattern pretty much with it. Ah, I think that helped a little bit to even it out a little bit maybe. Now I raise that up and I'm going to remove the little strainer. Yeah, we had some little drippage there. All right, I'm gonna carefully remove it from my turntable. I don't wanna lose what is here in the center. So 
So I'm gonna try to push the paint to the edges without losing what we have here in the middle. Try to dry when you're pouring. I mean, if it matters, if it doesn't matter. In a case like this, try to keep it as level as possible while it's drying. Because other situation you can run into is once your pattern starts to flow off the edges, it takes all of it, it takes all of it with it. Now that elevated that just a tiny bit for me so that it's not gonna just flow down and I'll stick to the bottom here. Now, if you if you're like me and you watch a lot of videos, I have seen some have seen some people do some awesome 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 uh, things with the strainer. Each one, like I said, is different. And I, for all I know, they had shot ten videos before they got the one that came out like super cool. But basically, using the strainer versus just a straight, dirty pour, as you can see, we just got a unique pattern, something that you wouldn't get with just, you know, flip cup or pouring your paint or any of that. We got a totally different and I think pretty cool looking pattern here. So we're gonna hope that I've got it level enough to where, because I, I do not want that. If it starts flowing with the white right there, that little bit, It'll just take all of it with it. It's just very strange. It's like, you know, gets to go and it has a mind of its own, which is also part of the fun of doing fluid art and and this type of uh, this type of painting is, you know, it it to me it's it's unique. It's fun. You just don't always know what you're gonna get. Let's see if I can. Elevate that just a hair and hopefully that I had the right consistency. Like I said, if you get it too thin, it's gonna wanna keep flowing and flowing. But just to show you uh, how each time, each time you do it, most likely you're gonna get something completely, completely different. Yesterday, the one that I did not video came out like this. Same exact thing that I did with this one, the only difference was, is I did use the Liquitex, which Liquitex is great for pouring. It is super great. I used the Floetrol on this, and I think the consistency probably held a whole lot better as far as it just didn't, it just didn't run away with my, with my pattern. But the bottom line, folks, that I always wanna say is uh, make it yours, make it personal, and you, and you can do it. This is so much fun. Just this little $4, $4 sink strainer. This was probably $12, the little turntable. And just play with it until you get a pattern that you really love or that you like. Or And if you don't like it, pour it over it. Do it again. Keep trying. Keep going. Guys, I want to thank you all so much for your likes, comments, and shares. I appreciate you subscribers so much. And hey, if you're new, uh, stopping by Design by Kathy, I hope you will subscribe as well. Look forward to seeing and hearing from you guys later. You have a great day.